Yo guys! So Google just released the details on Android O, and I was digging through the developer guide, looking at the new features, and some of this I'm actually really excited about. So the first thing that caught my attention was the new Autofill API. So this framework allows users to select an app as their Autofill app. And this Autofill app will be able to fill in information such as credit card information, log information for other apps. So this is really useful for password managers. If you're familiar with the app LastPass, it currently has its own sort of autofill window, but it's very buggy and only works half the time. And you have to go to accessibility, enable it, and it's just a mess. So I'm really looking forward to apps like LastPass taking advantage of this new API. So another new feature of Android O is picture and picture mode. Now, this is not new to Android, and in fact, this is currently within Android TV, but Google is now bringing its methods to Android O. So this means that users can watch a video in the corner of their screen while they do other things on their phone. I don't really know how useful that will be. I guess it's sort of like multi-window, just in a different form. I guess if app developers get really creative, this has lots of potential use to it, but in any case, it's still cool that Google is bringing this within Android O. So the big feature that everyone is excited for right now on Android O are the new app optimizations that are supposed to help battery life. So, you know, I feel like every year we talk about app optimizations and improving battery life on Android. With Android Marshmallow, it was Doze. With Android Nougat, it was better Doze. And now we're getting background execution limits and background location limits on Android O. So with background location limits, basically an app running in the background can only get location updates a few times per each hour. Now for any developers out there, don't worry because as I'm reading through this, your real-time apps will still work if you need real-time location updates. This really only affects the Fuse Location API. It also goes into detail about broadcast limitations, so basically where your app can receive while in the background um, and listen for and all that other good stuff. Another cool thing about Android O is that Google is redesigning notifications. So now you have the ability to snooze notifications, which is really useful. And as a developer, you can also customize many aspects of a notification, such as the background color, the timeout, and much more information. And something that's really cool is this new notification channel. So for your app, you can send your notifications on different channels. So let's just say I have one channel for one group conversation, another channel for another group conversation. Right now, as Android currently is, if I silence or block notifications, all the app's notifications will be blocked. But with Android O, you can selectively block notifications based on a channel. So that's really useful if, like I said, a user does not want all notifications blocked, but maybe just non-critical notifications or notifications from only one conversation. It really makes it easier for the user. So guys, those have been my favorite features of Android O. If you want to learn more, I'll post a link to the developer guide in the description below, so definitely check that out. What's your favorite feature of Android O? Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and follow me on social media. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.